here's a story about visiting the doctor. You know, we go to doctors so we can stay healthy and get vaccinations when we need them and medicine if we need it. Leo gets a checkup, and this is written by Anna McQuinn, illustrated by Ruth Yerson. Leo is a big boy now. Today, he is going for a checkup. Now that Leo is big, he drinks from a cup and eats by himself. Looks like he's having carrots and some noodles. Maybe that's spaghetti, yum yum. He loves hiding toys and playing ball. He loves singing and dancing. Wow, Leo. Now it is time to go. Leo puts his toys away. Good job, Leo. Daddy packs a bag. Leo gets his blankie and Mr. Seahorse. They wait their turn at the clinic. Leo sits and plays with Mr. Seahorse. Oh, I see lots of other families there. Mm -hmm. All going in for their checkup. Good job. It's Leo's turn. Welcome, Leo. Leo shows what he can do now and gets a sticker and a new book to read at home. Oh, I love books to read at home, don't you? Then they check his height. That's how tall he is. And weight. That's how heavy he is. His eyes, we all have eyes here, right? Leo has eyes, Mrs. Sewell has eyes. I can blink my eyes. Mm -hmm. And the doctor's going to check his ears. That's a special instrument that the doctor is using. It's got a, a light on it so doctors can see inside of our ears and see if they're doing well. Thump, thump. Leo's heart sounds great. When the doctor uses the stethoscope to listen to our heart, sometimes they'll ask us to take a deep breath so they can hear our lungs as well. Then Leo gets a shot. It will keep him healthy. Well done, Leo. Sometimes we can feel nervous about shots, but we know that it's just a quick pinch and then it goes away, doesn't it? and we get cool band-aids. The checkup is done. See you next time, Leo. Bye-bye. <laughs> Leo did a great job at his checkup, didn't he? I hope you think about Leo the next time you go to see your doctor. Until next time, boys and girls, adios, amigos. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>